Welcome to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show, where today in Arizona, real estate looks like it's in a bit of a holding pattern, a little bit of let's wait and see. Again, welcome to the show. This is where we look at Arizona real estate and try to make sense of this crazy market. And what I'm seeing is probably just kind of a run up getting ready for the holidays where things have just stalled. And what I'm seeing here is in my numbers here on my seven day moving average, you can see that the number of new listings is just not increasing. And the number of homes going under contract is kind of staying in a flat line about 22, 2300 units over a seven day period. But the gap between these two, and that's what drives pricing. So if there's a huge gap like here, then that's where pricing went down. And you can see how sales dipped. Of course, that's a holiday week there. That's a, uh, 4th of July, but the pattern of new listings continues to decrease. And if you've got this gap growing, new listings growing faster than listings going under contract, you'll start seeing some really severe pricing pressures. We do have pricing pressures right now, but they're not as wicked and severe as we thought they were going to be. I'm going to turn my phone off here for a second. What we're seeing is on the listing success rate, um, it's plummeted. So we went from 65% down to, oh, from 66 to 65%. So listing success rate, how successful are you in selling your home? Well, 66% uh, of you are doing okay with that. Now, that's a huge drop that you can see on that chart. But trust me, 92% was nowhere near normal. And 66%, uh, if we can even use the word normal in real estate anymore, is is kind of where we have historically been. And now we're back down there, but volume is so low that it just feels like things are falling off a cliff when in reality, they aren't yet. Here's the one that stands out to me that really tells a story if you think about it. Year-to-date canceled listings, you can see there are 11,537, right? And at the end of last year, we were only at 8,000. 167. So why the jump in canceled listings? Well, think about who cancels their listings. We went through a period where interest rates went up. People jumped in and said, looks like things are going to be going down really quick. Now let's get the house on the market. And let's try to capture as much of our equity as we can. And guess what? They couldn't. So they said, well, we gave it, the, we gave it a good run. Let's uh, pull the house off the market. That's what they did. And so canceled listings have increased. We're going to see a huge, huge spike on November 1st in expired listings because people are going to try and sell their house before the holidays. And if they don't, by Halloween, they're pulling them off because they don't want to mess with it over November and December. So the number of listings that are expired is just going to explode. I think the last time, last high number I saw was between five and 600. So we'll have to watch and see what happens this time. What's going on out there is there's a, there's a couple things. And one of them is, this is our average list price. Why is that not flying down in a straight line if sales are so bad? Why are people still listing their homes at, at a rate that's kind of flat? Well, one of the reasons I think, and I say I think, is this. Seller concessions are up at 42%. So if you think about that for a moment, people are saying, okay, I'm going to list my house at this price right here so that I can afford to give concessions because that's how people are winning the ball game right now. So I'm going to list right here so that I can take some of that equity and give it back to the buyer in order to complete the transaction. That's the first thing they do before they start lowering their sales price. So they're loading their gun to be able to give buyers the opportunity to pay for their closing costs or buy a, you know, get a rate pie down. That's my theory. And I think it holds up because we're seeing this spike of seller contributions up to 42%. Remember, we had lows down here of, of 10%. So that has spiked way up. And your asking prices are going to move later because if that doesn't work, they're going to result to changing your asking price again. But look at the uh, 
This is average median, monthly median sales price. That hasn't taken a huge dip. It has come down, but it's not getting hammered. So as we look forward and we get into November and December, I expect this to stay right here. Nothing's going to change. We're at 20,600 listings again today. Last week we were 20,700, same time period. We're just staying right, right there. Over the past 24 hours is a rare time where we actually saw more homes come under contract than came on the market, but that's just one day, probably kind of an anomaly. So the market is just staying put. People are waiting. January, all eyes are on January. What's going to happen in January? Well, normally we get more listings. So we'll see if people are going to say, well, let's go ahead and try this again now in January. But the rate lock where people are sitting in their low interest rate homes right now is happening. It's true and it's national. People were kind of poo-pooing the idea, saying, well, we're going to get all this high unemployment. People are going to have to move. Well, we haven't seen high unemployment yet. Don't know if we're going to. That's one of the things we need to watch. One of the things that I like to watch now, and I don't really like seeing it raise its ugly head, is the treasury market. It's getting kind of illiquid, and it's a very complicated thing. Janet Yellen is talking about maybe creating another entity to handle the auctions. Um, so that's some scary stuff to watch. Stay on top of that. That's a game changer. If our treasury market ends up being frozen and illiquid and people aren't uh, participating, uh, there's nobody getting loans. There are no houses selling and it could be ugly beyond words. So that's just something to watch. Don't stay up at night worrying about it. Though. I'll keep you posted here. Thanks for watching. Take on the day and don't forget, smash that like button.